Tell me about once you once you sort of knew that this is what you wanted to do, and you had to you had to carry this new knowledge that this is what you're meant for into auditions. Mm -hmm. Do you remember those early days of of going after things? Uh, I I do, and I always sort of say, I say this to young actors as well. There were times where I just knew maybe the role I definitely wasn't right for the role but it was an opportunity to go in and meet a casting director. Maybe they'll invite me back in for something that is better or more suited to me. You know, I also remember f telling myself to always be off book, to have ev all those lines memorized. Um, I still do it because I feel like when you look down at the page, that's where all your subtext is. Uh, I feel that's one of the most powerful tools that you have as an actor is to say, so much without saying anything. Right. And so if you're too busy looking down at your next line to see what that is, then you've lost a really opportune moment. Right. So I really remember learning that, um, and that wasn't right off the bat, but just to be off book, so I was constantly connected to whoever I was reading with or with the camera. How much was fear a motivator? Oh, always. If fear is a motivator in everything, in every decision that I do. I remember for Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, I had to audition with Shane. It was the first audition, and I flew in from New York because I was living there for many years. And I was staying at a hotel, and it was about two hours before I went in. And I called up Bonnie, my agent, to be like, "I can't, I can't do it. It's just like it's too much, right?" I don't know if I just felt like it was over my head. I, I don't know. And I remember calling her up to say, "You know, I can't do it. I'd never done that before." And and her assistant picks up, and she's like, "Oh, hold on, I'll get her." And then I went. And I hung up the phone, and I think I said, that means you have to do it. And I was like, that was it. And I went in, and I had the most amazing audition with Shane. And then it was a few months later t for me to be able to sit down with Robert. Um, but it's always a motivator. You know, there's so many films that I think, like, oh, no, I can't do Like, I remember Trucker. I thought I got the role for Trucker, and I thought, oh, there's no way I can play a truck driver. And I was like, there's no way I'm, I'm not. I'm not getting my truck driver's license. You know, if I don't get my truck's tr my truck driver's license, then there's no way I'm I'm gonna play the role, you know? And I was like, there's no way I can do it. And I was like, no, no, I have to do it. I have to go get my truck driver's license. I have to go to truck driving school and get my, you know, my class A license. I remember uh, going out, it's out on the 10, this truck, Dudson's truck driving school. I remember walking in there that day and I was sitting there with like eight truckers, male truckers, and they were said, you don't look like a truck driver. And I was like, well, I'm gonna be one. And I was like, oh my God, did I just say that? <laughs> I thought, oh shit, oh my God, I can't believe I just said that. And then- But that's your method, right? That's my method. And I was like, oh my, I grew up with brothers too, mind you. So, you know, that's another place where I get my thick skin. But I was like, I'm gonna be one. And I passed, and oh my, it was like gold, this license. I, and in the back of your mind, are you thinking, if this acting thing doesn't work out, yeah. I can always drive a truck. I can always drive a truck. I, I don't even know how to drive a regular stick shift, but with, but I can drive an 18-wheeler with like a double clutch and like, you know, 12 gears and a splitter. Yeah. That's, this, yeah. I, I think this, <laughs> that may be the sexiest thing you've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> right. What is the splitter? Yeah. I don't even want to know. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs>